welcome back to my channel my name is Allie and today I'm going to show you how to wire wrap mushrooms as far as tools go all you'll need are clippers flat nose pliers and round nose pliers get them pretty much anywhere Amazon Walmart my goals almost all of my wire from Rio Grande you'll need 20 gauge or 18 gauge dead soft tutorial I'm using German style wire which is colored copper from Beetalon. Size of the wire will vary depending on how large your piece is. Best to have a little bit too much length than too little. I would say 10 to 14 inches would be plenty. You're then going to want to fold it in half but leave one side a little bit longer than the other side and you will find out why that's important later. Next, we're going to make the bail. You're going to loop your wire around your round pliers. Um, you can do this once, twice, three times um, if you want a little bit of a thicker bail. It is totally up to you, but it should look a little something like this. And then once you're happy with the length, you'll kind of pinch it to where the wires are lined up with each other. Now you're going to take the longest wire and wrap it around the shorter wire. This is going to secure your bail and this will also determine the length of your bail. So you'll just wrap the longest wire around the shortest wire. And I'll probably wrap it to about an inch to an inch and a half in length. Once you're satisfied with the length, you'll split the wires like so. This next part might be a little bit tricky, but your fingers just kind of have to get used to it. You're going to wrap the wire around the mushroom. Wires should be next to each other. They're not going to cross just yet. And place your thumb on the center of where those wires line up. And you're going to take one wire and kind of turn it in one direction. Choose left or right. And you're going to take the other wire and wrap it in the same direction. It's better to be gentle in this step than too aggressive. It should start to look something like this. Use your fingers or take your pliers and just nudge the wires into the same direction, either clockwise or counterclockwise. Take your time with this step. At first, it might definitely feel weird. And then eventually the wires should lay right next to each other. If your wire is still loose around your mushroom, don't freak out, just keep swirling and I'll show you how to fix that. But the main concern we have right now is making sure that the swirl is lined up and centered with our bale. And yeah, just keep swirling. I usually use my fingers and place my thumb on the center. So to tighten our wire, we're going to make sure the bale is as high up as it can be on the mushroom. And then we're gonna take our flat nose pliers and twist the bale to tighten it. Make sure you're twisting in the right direction because you can definitely loosen it. You don't wanna tighten it too much because if you tighten it too much, it'll break the wire from too much tension. And you wanna keep tightening it until it's snug enough to where you can move it between your two fingers and it doesn't budge. And once you have your bail fixed where you like it, we're going to finish the piece off by adjusting the remaining two wires. And take the top wire and loop it around the back and then loop it around the bail. This will make sure it doesn't snag on anything. Um, and then we're going to take our round nose pliers and make a swirl design. Um, you can also just clip it um, and mush the wire down, um, but I like to add a little loop at the top. And then for the second wire, you can also loop it around the bale, um, but I usually add a swirl and kind of smush it on the bottom. They usually don't get snagged on anything because it is such a thick swirl design. Um, if it's just one little loop, it has a higher chance of getting caught on fabric, and we don't want that. So I usually like to make thick loops. And yeah, that's it. You've got a beautiful mushroom pendant. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, follow my social media, and shop my wire wrap and crystal shop. Please leave your comments down below and any future recommendations. Bye.